Hello everyone, I am the Grand Cat and welcome to a brand new series of unboxing videos. If you are new to the channel, welcome. And what I do is I open all of these and we actually record them all being opened and exactly what the figures look like directly out of the box, not what they are like after the joints have been heated or any of the other things that you see on some of the other channels. This is exactly raw, exactly what they are like directly out of the box. And our first Contenders for this new series of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is of course the four turtles themselves and we are using the BST AXN which is pronounced best, best action. So we have Leonardo, Donatello, Raphael and Michelangelo and we are going to jump right into them. So let us begin with the leader of the turtles, Leonardo, and we'll look at him first. We will take a look at the box first of all. Um, it's a pretty cool box. These are the bright coloured versions. So these aren't the cartoon colours. These are, I think they're called the, oh, what's it called? Um, the display colours. Basically it's what you'd find on all the merchandise like this. You know, the bright colours. But on the cartoon they were actually much darker colours. And the original Playmates figures, actually all the turtles had different coloured skins as well. So, um, there's the side of the box, you can see that 1980s artwork. The back of it looks pretty cool, we have a bit of a blurb here, so let's read that. Leonardo, brackets Leo, is dedicated, disciplined and selfless. He's a perfectionist with a strong moral sense. Because of his serious responsible, responsible nature, Leo is the big brother of the group, Splinter's right hand turtle and the leader of the team. Uh, Leonardo's weapons of choice are of course the twin katana swords and he comes with multiple accessories and incredible sculpt details. Um, does have the official Nickelodeon logo on the bottom here. Uh, warning 0 to 3 sad onions uh, for all the Ashens um, people out there. And the other side doesn't show much but that is exactly what we have. So let's jump right in to Leonardo. And we'll see exactly what he's like. So, um, I'm looking for the tape. Hmm, oh, right, okay. Tape's long here. <laughs> so, uh, let's cut into this. Um, we are not going to be keeping these boxes, so... Hmm, I feel like there is maybe a better way of opening that. That should do it. So the best action ones, um, there is essentially, well, there is the back of the box. It's actually pretty cool. Um, if I bring this out, this card out, oh, actually there's a little turtles bit at the back. But you can see on the artwork there, hopefully the camera can pick that up, it does have artwork of all of the 80s kind of line drawing figures. I'm trying to get it, unfortunately the camera is casting a bit of a shadow, which is a bit of a, um, a bit of a nonsense. And of course it does say Leonardo across the top there. So that is pretty cool. So best action, um, there is a few different versions of Turtles figures that are currently, play currently available. There's the Super 7 series, which is the remake of the original 1987 Playmates. Um, there is the NECA versions, which are the closest to the cartoon versions, and then there's the best action ones, which are the cheapest of the lot, um, and we're going to see what they are like. So, I did think about um, going for the NECA ones, but I wanted to test these little guys out, largely because the NECA turtles will put you back about £250, and these guys are about £15 each, so... It's like £60 for the, the lot of the four, um, as opposed to 250 so it's certainly a cheaper option. And I've seen people say, people give this kind of uh, a bad rap um, because of the photos of them online, but I think when you see them in person, they're actually really cool looking. So I have heard people say that NECA certainly looks better on a shelf, but in terms of posability and, you know, movability and being able to play with, Best action is what to go for. So the NECA figures definitely made for an adult collector. I think best action is more kind of lined to kids can play with this as well. And also it's cheap enough that if it gets broken, 
you aren't going to be too mad or upset about it. So let us take a look at what Leonardo has. So here was the big best action sticker. Here was the city sewer, two different heads, um, two additional uh, sets of hands, the two katanas, and of course this part that will go in the back right here, which is where the katanas go into. So um, he doesn't have a ton of accessories, but he has enough accessories. So let's look at Leonardo first of all. Um, first things up, first things, he actually feels really good. He feels a lot more solid than what I was expecting. I thought this was going to be hollow, but he does feel solid. He has the butterfly joints that have become very popular since uh, Strong Collectibles started doing them. Um, the bicep swivel, it, it's got a bicep swivel here. The shoulder is only on, it's, it's not on a ball joint, or is it? It isn't a ball joint. It's a hidden ball joint. That's pretty cool. So you can fully T-pose your Leonardo as well. Uh, you do have the biceps well. You've got the double elbow joint, which allows for... Is that as far as it goes? Okay, so it doesn't crunch that far. Let's try this one. Is that the same? Yep, okay. So you don't get that much of a... A pull on it. Uh, the wrist is also on a ball joint, so it does allow for that wrist swivel for the posing of the weapons, which is pretty cool. Same with this one. Uh, the neck, of course it rotates, and does it move up and down? It moves up and down barely, but not by much. So this is what we are looking for here. Uh, the legs um, he can get into sort of a high kick immediately. It's a bit of a, a thing there that just happened. Um, so I don't think the plastic is the highest quality that I've ever seen. But then these aren't £200 figures. These are just £10 figures. So, you know, you have to give the quality a bit of a pass for the price. Um, do have the ankle pivot. There's no toe pivot. Uh, same with this one, double knee joint. But once again, double knee doesn't give you a massive extension on what you can do. But, yep, yeah, okay. Seems pretty cool. Um, I don't think there's any articulation with the back. It feels a little bit loose. I'm not sure it's supposed to feel loose. You can see that this part here looks a bit weird because there's actually a bit of a hole, a bit of a gap between the chest and the... I don't know what you'd call it, a breastplate, I suppose, uh, rather than it being moulded as one part, so that's a little bit strange, but uh, overall, I think it looks pretty good. Um, I'm not sure how the size is going to compare with the rest of the NECA figures, but the turtles were always meant to be a little bit shorter than the rest of the characters. Um, the turtles generally look up to about the shoulder of April O'Neil, so uh, that's a pretty good indicator. So there we go. How does he stand? He stands perfectly fine. Let's get the focus back on that. And let's take a look at the accessories. So you have here just a pretty basic standard city sewer. It just says city sewer, which, yep, I mean it's iconic to the turtles, so why not? Um, we have the secondary head, which this one looks more like the 1987 face, the Playmates one, you know, with the teeth at the side and the angry look and everything. Um, it's a bit more, it's got a bit more kind of um, attitude to it than the just the plain generic one. I think we might go for this face. We'll try that out in just a second. Let's take a look at the backpack accessory. So this is obviously where the swords go into. I don't know whether there's a right way up or a, a wrong way. I would assume that that's the correct way up. You'd have these parts at the top. So let's try clicking that in. They literally just go into the little holes there and then you just press in like so. Hmm. And uh, it doesn't work. Okay, let's see. Maybe I did have it backwards. Let's try it this way then. No, okay, that also gives problems. Hmm. 
curious. So, um, not sure what we're supposed to do about that. Give it a little bit of force. Um, even with a bit of force, it's still kind of sticking out a bit there. It's not the best looking thing. And whenever I move this, the shell, you can see there that the shell also has a bit of movement. So I don't want to use too much force because I don't want to go accidentally taking the back of the shell off. So, hmm, that seems a bit of a problem. Uh, so the swords are actually in with a little bit of sellotape here. So let's just remove that bit of tape to get out the twin katana swords. And apparently his standability is not fantastic. And the hands are also in with just a little bit of sellotape. So let's take these out and we can take a closer look at those as well. Okay, and this hand is all caught up in the sellotape. Okay, so there is the little best action nonsense. And now we can get rid of the packaging. And we are now back to the figure. So, uh, first of all, let's try standing again. So, hmm, right, so let's try putting these into the little holsters. Does it just fit nicely? They do, although that... Okay, so they do work. Um, they're a little bit lower down than what they should be. Um, they're pretty loose, like generally I would think that, you know, the sword should be maybe about there-ish, like that's the way they'd be in the show, but they drop all the way down. Um, just in case I do have this upside down, let's just pretend that I put this in the other way, and let's try putting them in that way. Does that make any kind of difference? I have a feeling it does not. Nope, they still do the exact same thing. And also it doesn't matter whether you put them in one way or the other, they both do the same way. Hmm. So I'm beginning to think this a little bit not absolutely fantastic. So, uh, let's see what the other accessories are. So the alternate head, so let's try putting that on. So the head should just pop off just like strong clickles. It just takes a little bit of work, a little bit of strength. Takes a lot of strength, oh my goodness. Um, hmm. Hang on, just take sort of camera just a second. There we go. So there it is, it's just a big solid ball peg there for the head. And now we should click this one on. The, hard, the thing is, it's kind of hard to get a grip because you don't want to press the shell in too hard. You can feel that it's not exactly on properly and you can tell that the neck is a little bit too long so let's try and fix that I think they're they've got the right kind of idea here but the quality is not exactly up to par um, like I said I know that I'm used to reviewing very expensive figures on this channel, so I'm trying to give this the benefit of the doubt. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm seeing quite a few issues. <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. Okay, there we go. It is now solidly on. So there we go. Uh, so let's look at the alternate hands. Uh, see what we have. So we have. My goodness, uh, that is going to take some you getting used to. Um, we have the closed fists, like so. Let's just zoom in on those. Um, they're in refusal to zoom in. There we go. So, okay, I'll just ignore that one. You can see there that that is closed fists. It looks pretty much exactly what you'd expect. And presumably these ones are the open grip, which is designed for holding the katanas. 
So I think we're going to have Leonardo hold the katanas. Uh, this is not in pretty nicely. Um, yeah, I think they hold pretty well. That doesn't look like it's, it's fallen out anytime soon. So, yeah, that seems fine and fair enough. We'll do the same with this one. This one's a little bit stiffer and like I always say, stiff is not a bad thing because it means that it will hold. So, there we go. And next, we're going to just remove the hand. Come off nice and easily. Not much force is required. And then the next one should just click back in. Exactly the same. Like so. And there we go. And the same with this hand as well. This one's giving me a little bit more problem. But it comes out with no real problems. And then the next one just pushes in. And there you go. So in terms of posability, how does he act? So this little bit at the back here does tend to throw him off balance. He does tend to fall backwards quite a bit, uh, which is a little bit annoying. So he has to lean forward just a little bit. But uh, let's try and put him into a, a sort of action-y pose. Um, the head is a little bit stiff. Let's see here if we go for something like that. We do something like that. Unfortunately, there's no body swivel either, so that um, makes things a little bit more annoying. So if we do something like that, maybe, we can kind of get into a sort of stance there. Um, I'm going to bring this net leg forward, bring the knee in, push this one back, push the ankle out if he can. And there we go, something like that. I think that looks relatively all right. The shoulder doesn't look exactly correct there, but um, it looks better than having, you know, this big hole sitting there um, irrelevantly. So, my goodness, and the sword just came out. I just wanted to extend that hand just up a little bit and maybe just Turn the sword just a little bit around, and there we go. That is that is a typical sort of style look for Leonardo. This is typical kind of stance, I think. We would just do something like that. And how does he stand once he's in the stance? Uh, he stands pretty well, actually. Um, like he would still like. If you if you forced it, you would still fall backwards, but um, he seems to be in a pretty solid stance right there. Okay, well, there we go. That is the first of the videos done. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do the other turtles, but I'll probably do them a little bit faster because we've already went through the first one. And that is the start of our brand new unboxing show. So I hope that you all really enjoyed it, and if you did, then give us a like, share and subscribe, and if you are subscribed, make sure you click that notification icon so you can see when more of these videos go up. And thank you all so much for watching, and we will see you all in the next video. Goodbye everybody.